Hello, I'm Professor Bernd Schmidt, co-organizer along with Professor Don Lehman and Professor Sunil Gupta of the inaugural Theory and Practice Symposium on Relevant Marketing Research, presented by Columbia Business School and Harvard Business School. We brought together an audience of professors who feel that the issue of relevance is of high importance. And so we invited people from some schools. We invited editors from, from leading journals because we thought they had a role to play. The response was incredibly positive. As you can see, there are people here from around the country and around the world who heard about this and wanted to be here. We started with some words from the deans. Because I think that we live in a moment in which the legitimacy of uh, business education as a field is being deeply questioned. Being able to think about questions a little more deeply, but also to be relevant, um, is an incredibly important thing. And it's one of the real distinctive things that should be um, what a modern, uh, modern business school is all about. We were admitting to ourselves that there's a lot of disconnect going on. And uh, some of the responses blamed industry, and some of the comments here blamed industry, and some of the comments blamed ourselves. One of the great complaints that they have is that, you know, if I give money to research, I have no idea what difference it makes. We also showed a video reflecting the perspective of practitioners. We spoke to CMOs and senior executives from American Express, NBC Universal, Visa and MasterCard, Eli Lilly, Gannett, and Ogilvy. They agreed that there is a gap between marketing theory and practice, and they made suggestions on how to fix that gap. The editors of Marketing Science, the Journal of Marketing Research, the Journal of Consumer Research, and the Journal of Marketing shared their views on the review process of their journals. In the afternoon, we shared ideas and best practices for more relevant research that had been generated during breakout sessions. Uh, that in our conferences, we would, in our academic conferences, we would have sessions that are dedicated to what did I learn from industry. So that we basically educate ourselves, amongst ourselves academics, about things that we have learned in expert witnessing or consulting. Um, something I did in my PhD program uh, this year, I had two field trips as part of the course where we actually went to companies, and uh, one was on neuroscience, on brain scanning, wondering why do companies actually pay for this, <laughs> and one was the more data-driven, lower ground method. And this was really, really powerful. Even junior faculty were very interested in this, and got some research connections out there. One of the things I did when I was at Miami, which was astonishingly effective, is before I got there, nobody would talk to reporters at Miami. So I started putting it in the annual review and counting how many times they talked. We put it up on the website. That's all I did. I didn't give them any more money for it. And suddenly, people were emailing me any time they were in the media. It was a really big deal. We just counted it. That those of us, most of us in this room, who have written tenure letters, and certainly all of us who have read, read them, know that these things make a difference when somebody says, this has changed the way Walmart did something. And if we have assistant professors reading letters that say that, or reading excerpts from letters that say that, that could affect their behavior. At the end of the symposium, to us organizers, the question arose. You guys came up with lots of interesting ideas. The question is, what do we do tomorrow that is different than yesterday based on the ideas that were generated here?